on everybody Did you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening a fantastic afternoon a fantastic pre-noon no matter where you are in the world oh my god I'm a son piker and it brings me members of the great next community I mean great pleasure by stream Sanabai is a stream of well-known. Tell you after seven fucking whole days and being the most racist that this is the Hasanabi broadcast coming to you live from incredibly cold, treacherous terrain, not so sunny, California, Los Angeles, folks. We are live and alive. And I hope all the boys, I hope all the girls, and I hope all of the NBs are having a fantastic one. Because because it Here's is ad break brought to you by chat. Tuesday, December 21st, 2021, 11.35 a.m. And I am, uh, of course, late, despite the fact that it took me a fucking whole ass week. And I apologize for that tardiness. I apologize 
I'm a I'm a white man, as you all know. Sometimes we get a little tardy, you know, lossy. and partially because we just we believe we own shit, folks. Seven days ago, something I did something. Okay, smile. Many of you know what that thing was. Some of you don't. Probably most of you do, though. Because I was not around for the past seven days when I wanted to be. Seven days ago, I was banned for the most egregious, the most unacceptable action that anyone on any platform could have ever engaged in. That's right. Now, I'm going to issue a trigger warning here to describe to you the things that I did. And then I'm going to apologize. I'm going to apologize for my actions. That's right. Surviving it all started when like a boss less than three. I was doing the same thing I always do. You know, put on a video and walk away for three and a half hours. Because, you know, that's what all my haters think I do on a daily basis. I was... What? I, I turn on MasterChef, which is the new meta. I don't even know if it's still the new meta. I haven't been on Twitch in the past seven days. And two of my moderators, not your average African and Fizz, got banned in succession, in a row, out of nowhere. And I ride or die for my fucking community. So, of course, in the most hard-headed way possible, I considered this to be an unacceptable thing. 14 months hassle, missed you, King. And uh, pushed Twitch's buttons. Because of the very same thing I've talked about a million times over. Okay. About. The term. Trigger warning. Hello fellow kiddos. The term cracker. That's right. Wait, hold on. Does this work? Hold on one second. Does that work? The term cracker. Did I beep it? On my unbanned day, on my unbanned day. Anyway. <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to beep it. Yes. The delicious saltine good. The crunchy. Thank God. Sometimes cheesy, but oftentimes bland baked good. Brought to you by Nabisco. Many instances. The moderators were banned for that term for using the word against a white person. Senpai. I thought this was unacceptable because I do not believe that uh, any white person in all sincerity is genuinely upset, frustrated, angry, or offended by this term. Many of my naysayers that uh, whipped up themselves in a frenzy over the past week, especially over the weekend, certainly were doing touchdown end zone dances, joking about how not severe the term cracker was and how they were just memeing for the most part and that Twitch is a bunch of fucking idiots for even following through on such a pathetic, idiotic capitulation to White fragility, oftentimes pushed by and we alive some of the, us. you know, uh, uh, some of the most insanely racist individuals, as you all probably saw on the internet. And other times pushed by maybe people who were whipped up into a frenzy because they themselves were being We're back, baby. agitated and were being talked to by those who were interested in pushing for white identity politics. But I've learned my lesson, folks. Boys, girls, and I've learned my lesson. I am now 
a white identitarian. That's right. White is right, I say. I myself make a pledge to never use the term right, ever again right. unless I am referencing a delicious, bland, unseasoned saltine. A snack, I mean. That's right, I've learned. Seven days went by when I was banned. I lost my fucking mind, w pretty much. Because uh, as much as we talk about parasocial relationships, I myself, as many of you know, have a reliance on Twitch streaming to create some kind of organization in my life and to give me a sense of purpose. Seven days, 15 hours and 23 minutes. So like not having days, the community that I've cultivated like Pogo, seven days, to rely on on a daily basis minutes like Pogo. made me go a little fucking uh, crazy. It made me go bananas. I mean, I'm serious. I was able to still, you know, stream. I did the Ludwig stream. Let's so ooh. I did the H3H3 Leftovers podcast that we did live. You know, I'm sure some of you guys saw that. But uh, it wasn't enough because, you know, I it wasn't my community. It wasn't my chat. I, I really did miss Daycare all of time. this. I missed it a lot, actually. Okay. I also finished a video game. Many of you wanted me to play called Disco Elysium. It was brilliant. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Anyway. Latellite Pogo. The thing I wanted to mention before I fucking tweet out that I'm live and alive once again after seven fucking days. Holy shit. And it does feel really good to be back is that, look, I've learned. I have learned my lesson. I am proud of my heritage. I'm proud. I have, Let's you could say, white pride. You know, I've learned my lesson not to, uh, not to ever offend white people ever again. Oh, brother. I've learned that looking at the online uh, discourse around this, especially on Reddit, I learned that actually the C word is just as severe as the N word, if not worse. Because everybody knows not to say the N word, but nobody will stop and think about the white man. Right. I learned about power, white power, how powerful whites are. All of those things. Is that, is that was the lesson, right? That is the lesson about white identity politics is that no matter how powerful you might be as a certain subsect of the population, no matter how your made up racial designation that encaptures all of the races that you have declared or all the ethnic backgrounds that you have declared to be white, no matter how much it changed throughout history, one thing remains the same, and that is that white people are powerful. It's the in-group. It's the dominant group. So that's what I've learned. That's what I. That's what Twitch expects me to do. Right? Isn't that what Twitch expects me to do? Be a white identitarian? Welcome back, 16 months, Pog. So here I am doing advocacy for the white race, which is a race. Apparently it's a, it's a real race. Being That's what many people to told me brain. earnestly, honestly, months, over the internet, months. they said white people are a well-defined, clearly outlined race of individuals and you should protect them. You should protect the whites. How would you protect the whites? considering uh, white genocide, which is a very real thing I learned, okay? How would you protect them? How would you stop white genocide? Of course, shutting off immigration, right? Stopping brown and black people from immigrating into the country. That's how you protect the white race. It's not a real race. It's a made up race built around purity. Monk called the brain rot. I want you all to understand if you're in here waiting for me to get banned, if you're in here to clip chimp, and if you are at the precipice, okay, if you're not like legitimately a fucking Nazi piece of shit, like many people are on the internet, unfortunately, but if you're in the margins and you saw a lot of people make good arguments about 
Just don't make fun of white people. What the fuck, dude? So how do you... How do you defend a marginalized group? How do you? Big 10 month anniversary hassle hassle How do you hassle. defend those who have historically been as an entire group, the oppressors? How do you defend them without coming across like a white supremacist, fascist, reactionary, Nazi piece of shit? You can't. All of these ideas that were pushed by Nazis that have been stolen historically from actually marginalized groups to adopt their struggle and to steal their language and to use it upon themselves, to use it for themselves as though white people are truly marginalized. That entire movement is created both historically and in contemporary society by racist, reactionary, fascist pieces of shit. So if you consider yourself to be a woke person of the Caucasian variety, and you find yourself thinking, wow, these fucking guys are making a lot of good arguments. Why can't you just not be racist against the whites? Dude, it's so easy. Remember, Hoggy Woggy. at the heart of the argument, is the reactionary stance that white people are a well-defined and often marginalized group of individuals. And also understand that you are further advocating to, I guess, ban different okay. words such as, and uh, to my knowledge, these are not banned. Hillbilly, pick, mayonnaise monkey, vanilla gorilla and numerous other kinds of words are honky, whitey, numerous other kinds of words, redneck, that are used in common vernacular. Okay? You want to ban the word Karen? Many people, Let's colonizer is another one, many people who have advocated in the past to be able to say the n-word <laughs> are unironically doing exactly what they hated right supposedly becoming annoying fucking sjw ass libs okay right that's what you guys are like, doing when you do this what did I miss? Is it true that you got on band exactly at 8.21 p.m.? Yes, I did. I, I did. That is true. This is absolutely true. I did get unbanned at 8.21 p.m. There's plenty of slurs to ban the R slur, the B slur. Let's get rid of them all. No, I disagree. Anyway, folks, that's all I wanted to say about this. Let's go. Okay. Back. Hassle, hassle, that's hassle. all I wanted to say. Uh, it feels fucking incredible to be back. Uh, for those of you who uh, fought hard in the trenches and probably had to fucking deal with a bunch of Nazi pieces of shit. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be tweeting that I'm live right now. Um, there's so much to come today. There's a lot going on.